You know, I think, weirdly, most of the early stuff w could have been titled "Anxiety," also. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, maybe it is more. It is more personal. It's less universal, subject-wise. The vocal, the vocal side of it is still that for sure. Um, just because of the context of going to the studio, it ultimately had to be more kind of considered as I was doing it, just because I had a finite amount of time. All the songs were written as a singer-songwriter rather than uh, producing and writing at the same time. Um, I ended up having to conceive of a song more than I ever had to before. Um, so I was just, those are the topics that were coming up. Uh, the title kind of came as the songs started coming together and I was like, what is the theme here? <laughs> you know? the, the record is the more pure expression of the music, for sure. I mean, that's. That to me is always what I'm thinking about. Um, the performance is an opportunity for, for, for me to kind of bear myself uh, in a way uh, that's both really great and also totally and utterly exhausting. It's a totally separate afterthought process. In other words, it's like I have this content that I've designed specifically for, for the studio and how do I then take that and like try and encapsulate those same feelings in a, a public sphere. And so it just ended up being this really kind of raw, <laughs> like bearing myself fully kind of performance. And it's funny, I, you know, for my first two records, or first two releases, it was once a month I would do it. And now doing it night, <laughs> night out, it's really, really intense. I like kind of lose track of myself during these times because I'm just doing this thing in front of a bunch of people all the time. I just build up a lot of stage fright and then it's the only way I know how to deal with that. I'm kind of like an all or nothing person. So it's like I like turn like I like then the system system go. And that's it's kind of how it has to be, at least so far. I mean I I guess once it stops being nerve wracking then I'll have to figure out another way to deal with that. <laughs> Um, yeah, gonna die. I like literally was having a panic attack uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> I was just like staring at myself, like holding onto the side of the sink. I was like, what do I do? And I just like ran into my room and just kind of knocked that song out. The challenge of clarity. I stumbled into the self-titled sound kind of incidentally. I was just playing around with music and, you know, trying to get those like Lee Perry under, uh, like, Lee Perry Congo's harmony stuff going on and like getting grooves and making kind of pop music but my, my notion as to exactly what I was trying to target was a lot less clear uh, and I liked it and that's why I made that record because I was like this is cool no one's quite sounds like this and so I'm doing this thing but I also there's a lot of ob obfuscation that happens in that process when you're just dealing in shitty software and you're doing it on your own and you're doing a lot of kind of weird pitchy backing vocals and cut ups and stuff like that. Body was the step of me continuing to do that same thing but just getting better at it. Um, and I actually have another record of stuff that's kind of at that body le level that's you know forever lost probably. This record was you know just process wise I wanted to choose totally new cultural reference points, totally new musical reference points, and try um, using absence as opposed to uh, additive kind of constant wall of sound process to, to create the space and the tension in the, in, the, in the songs. So there's a lot of just cutting, 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 cutting. Uh, plus, you know, D Dan was around um, to kind of in an advis advisory kind of capacity to saying like, oh, that's too boring, that's too normal, or whatever. Uh, so it's interesting having other people as sounding boards um, around. So it's just, it, just very different process-wise in terms of how I was producing versus how I had produced totally on my own in the past. <laughs>